What is going on guys? One more time to bring us a brand new Bush Gardens video and in this video we are going to be talking about a hot popular topic because we are about to enter August which means it is almost Hallow Scream time so we got some stuff to cover about Hallow Scream but before we jump into today's video I just had a new song come out last week you guys have probably seen it teased here on the channel my new single Runaway is out now I love this song it's about traveling the world seeing the world experiencing the world I put out a whole post talking about the whole meaning of the song and real quickly I'll just say it's a song disguised as a love song but it's really about the idea as an artist you want to tour the world see the world and the beautiful cultures and all the different inspiration there is to see that's what the song is about so go give the song a listen after you watch this video or go listen to it and come back to this video now that we got that covered I am super excited to bring guys this video because this is something I've been wanting to talk about for a hot minute I mentioned in a vlog several weeks ago that I was going to stop talking about insider information within the park and you know all my reasons as to why i no longer do insider information like i said go back to the vlog i'm not going to do that whole spiel again but one of the things that i was like really like i'm ready for y'all to announce this so i can talk about it fiends is coming back to hallow scream yes i am so excited guys if you guys have been watching my videos on the channel for a while especially any of the hallow scream videos over the last year i have mentioned multiple times how i believe fiends would be a great addition to bring it back to Hallow Scream, and what better to bring it back for the 25th anniversary? Now, this does cause a little bit of controversy. With Fiends coming back, it kind of means the demise of another show, which is Jack is Back. I have mixed feelings about this. While I wasn't the hugest fan of the Jack is Back show, because it kind of disrupts the walkway for a few minutes. If you're trying to get through Ireland, you got to kind of go around the back way, which, I mean, it's not that big of a hassle. It's just a hassle. And it's, very, it's a very short show. Having that iconic character of Jack has been one of the, my favorite things about Hallow Scream. I'm very big on the Bush Gardens establishing their own like characters, their own trademark characters, their own IP, and Jack is one of those characters that they brought back a few years ago, and I was like, we're heading in the right direction. They haven't officially said Jack won't be back. Maybe he'll be back in some other capacity, but it does seem like the Jack is Back show will not be returning this year, so I'm a bit of a mixed bag on that, but that is not why we're here today. We're talking about Fiends. This show, I've always loved watching this show. I've watched it so many times on YouTube over the years, because like I've always said, when it was at the park, I was a little too young to go see it. It was a bit more mature, a bit more sensual. So it was like, you know, it's not for little kids. And, you know, I'm like seven or eight at the time. You know, I wasn't going to go see that. Ever since i got gotten older and I've seen the show, it's just a great show. The music is great. The costumes are great. The characters are great. And I'm just like, I would love to see that show come back to Bush Gardens. We finally got it back. And rumors had started coming around several months ago. And back when I was still talking insider information, I did mention in a video at one point in time that I had heard murmurs that there could be a return to Fiends. And then I had it confirmed to me. And I've just kind of kept that secret for however long it's been that I was like, yeah, Fiends are coming back. And it's really funny, too, because there's some, like, people in the Bush Gardens, like, Facebook and, like, X community, and they were posting, like, there's just no way. Like, people say they want Fiends back. Like, there's just no way Bush Gardens is going to bring Fiends back. And I'm kind of sitting there like, uh, <laughs> I know something you don't. It is one of those things that was pretty, that's pretty funny. But, yeah, I'm just super thrilled that this show is back. If you guys have not seen the show on YouTube, do yourselves a favor and go see it on YouTube. Give it a little watch through. Now, this is not just called Fiends. This is Fiends, the prequel. I think it's going to be a slightly revamped version of the show. I don't think it's going to be the exact same. Think about American Jukebox. It's the same style show that it was, I believe, when it originally ran. What was it 25 years ago? I don't know. I wasn't alive then. It's a whole new show with different eras of music. You know, like you go now, you got Dua Lipa, you got some Taylor Swift, you got new age stuff. So I think this is going to be a revamped version of the show featuring some of the same moments that we remember from the old version but also some new moments that should be really exciting because whoever's been handling the shows lately at the park knocking it out especially when it comes to like these main shows like american jukebox you know scrooge no more gloria uh, monster stomp october zest and of course Celtic Fire. It's when it comes to these shows, you just see this production level that's just insane so whoever's been handling that recently you know bravo been killing it and i and i have full faith this version of the show will be just as good if not better than the one that i've seen on youtube now some people are concerned that maybe they're going to tone down the show a little bit and that they're going to kind of pull the reins on it i don't believe so especially if you go back and i mention this all the time but it's a good reference point let's go back to the members town hall last november what did they speak about 
going more intense with Hallow Scream. Now, they have spoken about doing, you know, the adult-only nights. There has been no talk if there's any movement there, so I don't know. I don't know if there's anything coming. You know, we're still some time out. They haven't made all the Hallow Scream announcements yet. So that could still be something that's coming. But what we do know is that they do realize that there is a hunger for more intensity with Hallow Scream. They want to create kind of a line where it's like, okay, this is what's safe for the all family to watch. And then this is what is for the people who want, you know, an intense experience. Because it's like I always say, I don't like no boot necklaces. I don't agree with it. If you're in the park past 630, yes, that's, that's your decision. You're making that decision for yourself and whoever you're with. If you're there past six, that's on you. I had a friend tell me, some people get mad at them because when they wear the no boot necklaces and you come into the haunted house, they're told, go all out. Like, like it doesn't matter if they got no boot necklace on. If you're in a haunted house, you scare them because you walk into that line, you know what you're getting yourself into. It should be the same way for the park. If you're there past six o'clock, you are subjecting yourself to whatever the park has to offer. If someone wants to chase it with a chainsaw, chase it with a chainsaw. And, and everyone has awareness. If you got like a real little kid, generally, people will be like, oh yeah, I'm not going to go after like the little, little kid. That's how I believe it should be. Now, you might disagree. Totally fine. Totally cool. I understand. That's just my take on it. And, you know, we're all, we're all just fighting to our own opinion. I think this is a step in the right direction for the group of us that really want Hallow Screen to get turned up a notch back to the way we remember it from years ago. Now, if they really want to turn up the notch and bring some stuff back from, from the past, they'll bring back the talking skeletons at the front of the park. I remember those. They scared me when I was a little kid, and I want to see them back because it was just funny. They're like a little banter back and forth. It was just a cool little animatronic that you don't typically see around Bush Gardens a whole lot, and that would have been super awesome. You guys probably wonder, Will, you keep talking about how awesome the show's going to be and all this and all this, but what is the show going to be about? About. You still have your same characters. So we're going to have Dr. Frankenstein, Igor, the Bride, the Creature from the Black Lagoon, and Dracula, and the Wolfman, and the nurses. It's going to be the whole gang back that we remember from the old show. Now, what is it going to be? It's going to be, it takes place after a long hiatus where we find Dr. Frankenstein in his Transylvanian mansion, and he wants to reintroduce himself to the world, and the only way Dr. Frankenstein knows how, and that is by making a Hollywood-style blockbuster about his life. So this is already, right now, you already know, this is going to be a different story than what we saw before. So that's why I really like is that we're getting these characters back, but I think this really opens itself up to be a new show while still having the basis of the show that we all remember. And it says it's going to be a filmmaking festivities and a pop culture-centric song and dance extravaganza, and I love that. I love shows that deal with filmmaking because as someone that has worked in the film industry, I like to see, like, all right, how accurate do you get it? Like the Indiana Jones show at Hollywood Studios, I like to watch that show and be like, how accurate are you? It sounds like an awesome premise, something that's new, something that's different. The last version, I mean, it's been a little bit since I watched it, but if I remember it correctly, he, it was basically just him making the monster. It was the making of the monster of Frankenstein, which if you remember what the, what the monster ended up looking like, when it came out of the uh, experiment, you're like, what? Like a model dude came out like, yeah, I'm the monster. And you're like, you're not Frankenstein. So it was, it was so wild. Like every time I go back and rewatch it, I always forget that's what Frankenstein looks like. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. My eyes are burning now. It, it, it's, that's why I love this show. It, it takes the things you expect to do and flips it on its head. I am just so thrilled that they are bringing back Fiends. And in addition to that, they are doing the Fiends Frenzy 5K at the end of September, which is a 5K run at the park. I plan to be there, and I plan to run. It'll be my first ever marathon, and I'll follow that up with the Christmas Town 8K in December. So if you guys do those runs, you'll see me there. I'm doing some training. I'm very, I've am very. i always been in good condition, and I'm staying in good condition. I run all the time, but I'm running a little extra now because I really want to do good in the different types of elevation and stuff that we're going to have to deal with because the park is a lot of different levels of elevation. So I'm super excited to run those marathons. So let me know if you guys are going to be running in those marathons because I'm super excited. And guys, let me know also how you guys are doing on your passport to summer. I am, as of this video, 10 visits. So I'm halfway to 20. And we're going to complete to 20 by August 10th. If all goes well, I will be at that vip event in september so i hope to see some of you guys there and it's like the only thing we're really talking about in this video was fiends we really don't know a whole lot about the rest of the event they haven't announced it yet and they're keeping it under wraps we'll talk about the new stuff once it's announced from the park and i'm super excited to talk to you guys more about how the screen because it's one of the favorite times of the year because you get the park at full force but also you get this whole another element that's just a 
a, amazing layer on top of what is already a great experience at the park. I have enjoyed going to the park so much this year, and I'm excited just to keep going and keep this train going as we uh, go into the second half of the year. But are you guys excited that Fiends is back? I know some of us are a little mixed feelings because it does mean that Jack is back. It's no longer a show. Jack is indeed not back. Or maybe he is. We don't know. I don't think they would get rid of that character completely. It's too much of like when you have Santa at Christmas Town, you got Clancy at the St. Patrick's Day celebration. It's too much of a character that you can have photo ops with. Really hope they don't get rid of it. But one thing I hope they do add to the Ireland section as we go into this, if you guys remember, outside of the Abbey Stone, where Fiends was, they would have a bunch of these monsters set up around, and it was like all the different monsters that the doctor was experimenting on. And you just saw all these like iconic Halloween monster creatures. And so I hope that we can get that back. I don't know but I just really hope that we might get at least a couple of them back. Doesn't have to be all of them, but if we can just get a few of them, I would love that because this is the 25th anniversary. It seems they're trying to lean into that a little bit of being like, hey, let's do some callbacks to the past. Cool, bring that back. I think a lot of us would love for that to come back. I know I would. It helps build the atmosphere of Fiends before you go into the theater to watch the show. But yeah, I'm super excited for the show. Now that it's like, it's like all the glorious shows of the Abbey Stone have returned. We get Celtic Fire, now we got Fiends the Frequel, and we still got Gloria. So it's just like, yes! The three shows that I've always loved in the Abbey Stone are now all back. It's like the Infinity Stones of the Abbey Stone. So I love it. I'm super excited. And I'm just, I'm thrilled that this show's back. I've been wanting this show back for years. And when I first heard it, I was like, oh, it's coming back. I went, yes! I think when, when I was told, it's like, oh yeah, it's coming back. I think I literally went, Yes! And I was just I was just so excited. I'm so hyped just to watch it. Can't wait to see how they bring it to life in 2024. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys are thinking about the show. Are you excited? Are you a little bummed out that Jack is back is gone? Let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that bell button down below so you know if I every single time I'm up with a brand new video to the channel. Make sure to go stream my new song, Run Away, wherever you listen to your music. Go check out the Patreon, bunch of Bush Gardens vlogs, and an exclusive Bush Gardens vlog only found on the Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Walt Morris, and I'm out. Peace. Take my hand,